Good morning folk. Sarah wants me to do a quick little video using my new beautiful skeleton saw. It's out of this world. I've only done one saw cut yesterday with it. I've tried it there. It's almost plain finish. Anyway, this is with the second cut. I'm just going to quickly demonstrate how I'll hope to use it in the future on some more infills. This is a, a little tiny infill out of one of my planes that I've discarded. Most of my front infills are about this shape. I discarded this probably because there's a little tiny bit broken off there. I can't remember why. But anyway, so that's... I'm just doing the basics how to do this. I've, I've set some lines out across the top and I've set that line out there that's in front in front of the mouth. So what I do is I position I do the, this mouth cut first. I mean, this is dead rough. I'm just sh showing you the basics because Sarah's persistent. I show something. So this will be the mouth. I normally use this saw, another skeleton saw. But because I've got this new one, I'll give it a whiz. It's only a pencil line I'm working to. I haven't uh, cut it with a knife or anything. And this piece of boxwood is exceptionally hard. And very often I notice I use two hands now when I'm sawing. I don't know why. I think I get better control as I'm getting older. I'm doddery. I sometimes do this with that other saw. Well, Try and persevere one hand. And this is a really hard piece of boxwood. So, that's the shape it's going to be, hopefully. So I've just sawn down to there. Then I, if I can remember, I, I do these things automatically. I do, and when you're doing a video, it, I do get a bit confused. So this will be the little rebated bit on the top. I use my thumb now to, to guide it, get started. Two hands again, I don't know why I do that. It does give me better control, I think, when I'm working to precise line. This cut only goes down a sixteenth or so. I've already gone too far that side, I weren't thinking. So that's that. Uh, Oh, then I, I'm doing this cut now. Too thick for this silver.
see how he, your little finger fits the handle perfectly. And Shane said you can also use that finger like that if you want, which f it fits feels right both ways. And I put my th finger alongside there as you do on a, a normal saw. And every time you pick it up, Shane says, this shape of handle, it sort of memorises. Your hand goes straight to the right position, where on a round one, a round handle, it's not the same. Right. So, I've sawn down there, sawn down there. Then I normally I have to gauge. See the flocks. Run a pencil down my gauge lines, then you can see them better. So, what do I do then? Oh, yes. You could saw this, but I normally do this. Put 